Hey everybody, how's it going? I'm Duro Sai, and today I'm going to be walking you through how to make a little cool lead stabby sound in Serum, somewhat analog-esque, and it's coming from one of my latest releases on Landjam Records called Mind Loss, so we'll take a listen to that and dive right into Serum. Alright, so let's take a listen to the sound, to the synth. Comes around the three minute mark. I'm tripping over time. You know what I'm saying? I'm tripping over time. So you get the idea, it's that dun, 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 so it's that synth. And so I made that all in Serum. So, and I'll show you how to do that. It's pretty easy. Let's drag Serum into here. All right, so obviously it doesn't sound good now. We just got a saw wave, no filter. So let's put that filter on there, have both oscillators on. And uh, I think I used a Juno and this uh, MB saw, these two waveforms. We want to turn up this release and then bring this down. And now we want to use this LFO as an envelope for this uh, low pass filter. So let's put that on there have it coming in from the right side. Make sure to have this envelope thing on, make sure so it's a envelope and it doesn't continue to play as an LFO. It's already starting to sound pretty plucky. Add some resonance, some drive, a little bit of fatness. starting to get there and now uh, let's put a little EQ take out some of these uh, low frequencies that are muddying everything up and now so the ho the cold kind of like analogish sound I think mainly comes from this tube distortion because what I like to do is have another envelope here that essentially modifies the mix knob, modulates the mix knob of the uh, tube distortion. So just kind of when it hits, it sounds like it's clipping a mixer. It's essentially the uh, what I'm going for. kind of have the uh, the pitch of both these oscillators kind of waver like also it's like a as if it was an analog synth so just kind of put in some random pattern here I'll turn off BPM sync go in this matrix mod go to LFO 2 because that's what we're using to modulate Oscillator A, fine tune, just a little bit. Now we'll use the same LFO to do oscillator B, but just in the opposite direction. And then we can also have that kind of modulate that too. That is my phone. <laughs> so 
So it just kind of gives it this sort of like waveringness. Like it's, as you know, all this is sort of just all analog emulation. So with analog synths, synth, the oscillators don't stay steady. So you want to mimic that. Then, and you know, the more, more things you modulate, the crazier it's going to get. So we can even do this. I don't remember if I did this for the original sound, but you know, if I did it, if I remade it, this is how I would do it. Get that stereo. And yeah, there you go. There you have it. It's pretty much pretty easy to make. Um, let's see if uh, there's anything else we could do to this that might, we can even fuck with the, uh, the wavetable shaping. So, I mean that we can even have another LFO, you know, this is just extra stuff you could do. I like, I like to just kind of put in some random patterns, make it pretty all over the place. Turn the rate down. This may or may not sound good. Not bad. Let's see if uh, maybe a uh, bend plus. Maybe I have a bend minus on here. Yeah, there you have it. It's pretty much it. Um, just play around with all these LFOs. You know, with this Matrix Mod and Serum, you can it makes it really easy to just kind of map all your LFOs to like some parameter. So what I like to do is just kind of not really think about what I'm doing. Just kind of map the LFO to some random shit like the flanger or maybe the hyper uh, the hyper dimension. Just this like weird thing. Just try out some new stuff and you can get some interesting results. So anyways, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed that, and hope to catch you in the next video. Peace. I'm tripping over time.